what is my favorite all-time style of fragrance? The classic Barbershop Fougere. So here from Osme, I'm gonna give you my top 10 Barbershop Fougeres of all time. Coming up next. Okay, here I am back at Osme Perfumery, dressed in a jacket again, and hopefully uh, you guys like this new look. Not doing it for every video, but definitely gonna step up my game, my suit game, my you know uh, dress game here. And uh, one of my favorite jackets got this in Italy a couple of years ago. Just anyways, all right. Today I am going to pick my top ten barbershop fougere fragrances. To me, this does not get more classic, old school, gentleman. I think uh, it, it just evokes memories of growing up. It evokes memories of being in a barber shop, literally getting your hair cut, the smell of the talcum powder, the, the scissors, that little green liquid that the combs go in, being with your dad, just the smell of my dad. He wore classic Brooks Brother Barbershop Fougere fragrances. This just all floods back positive memories. I think probably for a lot of you. So I wanted to pick my top 10 and see what you guys think and see if you guys have tried this. So let me get right into it. Coming in at number 10, this is one of the newer entries and this is Scandal from Roja Dove. Beautiful bottle, love this, love the top, of course, Roja Dove, love the purple, deep purple bottle. This is Oof, this is really good. This one could easily climb the list, I think, over the years. Came out, I think, about a year and a half ago. This is the uh, Parfum Cologne series, so it's not the Eau de Parfum. This is, a, he made a little bit cheaper version, less expensive version. And uh, this is, what I like about this one, it's uh, like a combination, of course. Oh, by the way, Every fragrance that I'm discussing here has lavender as one of its main notes. If it's, if it's a barbershop fougere, it has to have lavender as a main note. That is kind of like one of the key components. So this, of course, has lavender, but it also has mint and jasmine and basil, all elements I love. So this one, I think, does it beautifully. One of the newer barbershop fougeres if you want to try one. Coming in, number nine, this is elite from the british house floris look at that color right i love this one for the color i'm going to be adding this one to my collection actually very soon it's not in my collection yet but oh it's i love it. it it's just like the color it's so green and fresh and herbaceous but yet barbershop and this came out by the way, in 1980. So the, this to me symbolizes kind of like the 80s, almost like Wall Street. I could picture this being worn on Wall Street, power suit, business suit. You want to really impress the ladies. And by the way, this is an eau de toilette. So this is relatively cheap. This is one of the cheaper ones you can get into the niche world. But don't let the eau de toilette fool you. I've worn this a bunch of times. It lasts all day. Good eight hours and good projection, high quality. All right, number eight. Number eight, Mephisto from the Italian house, Casa Marati. Oof, look at that, okay? Of course, their bottles are some of the best out there. Mephisto, if you haven't seen them before. This one is, I think what stands out for me and why it's in my top 10, this is a Rose Musk Barbershop Fougere. And let me spray it. Oh yeah, it, it's, of course, the lavender is the dominant note, but then you get this rose and this musk, and you've even got some amber, which is probably my top two or three favorite fragrance notes. Just blends well together. Number seven from a classic house, Eight and Bob's Egypt. Everyone pretty much knows the story behind the original Eight and Bob, the whole JFK story. If you don't know it, put put a comment down below, ask me about it, I'll, I'll fill you in on the, the JFK, the John F. Kennedy story with the original, but this Aiden Bob is Egypt. And 
This one I like is a little bit more unique because it's got cardamom, which makes it a little bit more spicy than a typical barbershop fougere. And it's also got nutmeg, and you can kind of see from the color here, this has this kind of spicy, warm element. So it's a little bit kind of on the edge of barbershop fougere, but it still sticks within the barbershop fougere realm. That's why I have it here at number seven. Number six is Sunshine Man. Sunshine Man from Amouage. Amouage is typically gonna, you know, you, you don't think barbershop fougere or necessarily even fougere fragrances, but this one, the one they did, is a beauty. Oof. It's unique in that it's got this orange and brandy top and also got vanilla and cedar. A lot of these do have cedar. That's a typical component in a barbershop fougere. But what stands out for me on this one is that orange. You can even kind of see it's got an orange hue to the, to the juice. The orange and that brandy, oof, just a great combination. All right, top five, here we go. Coming in, number five, New York Intense. New York Intense from Nikolai, Nikolai Parfum. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Patricia Nikolai is the granddaughter of Guerlain. She's had her own niche house for almost 30 years now. These are, by the way, all Nikolai perfumes. Really good house. I own a bunch of her stuff. This one, uh, what else? Again, lavender, right? This has got that New York grittiness. If you want a modern, urban, man, New York, gritty, barbershop, fougere feel, pretend you're in, I don't know, Brooklyn, or maybe you're in Queens, and you're there getting your hair cut at an old school barbershop, and, and the same dudes that hang out there every day, it's like a neighborhood place, that's New York intense. All right, number four is 1725 from Histoire's, Histoire's de Parfums. Let me spray this one for you. Oh, what I like about this one again is it has a citrusy barbershop fougere and also some almond and some star anise, which is this kind of fruity citrusy uh, component. So again, what's nice about this is it's unique and it's not your typical barbershop fougere. It's got this French twist on it. So that's why it made it into my top four. Top three, top three is always the hardest. Um, yeah. Any of these could be number one, but I had to put them in an order, so here we go. Number three is number 89. The second entry in the top 10 from Floris, and by the way, I could have done two or three more. There's Vert, Vert Fougere could have been in the top 10 easily. I had to pick a couple. I went, went with ones that stood out to me. Number 89 may be one of the original barbershop Fougeres. <laughs> this came out, by the way, 1951. So if there were barbershop Fougeres before this, I'm not even sure what they were. This one probably, if you look at it, was the original. It's the grandfather. It's still around. It still does very well. It is just a classic. It's a classic. It's what all the other barbershop fougeres are going to have to look up to and model themselves after. So if you want the classic, the original, go with number 89 from Floris, the British niche house. Number two, this one probably is maybe the biggest surprise on the list. Number two from the American Mexican niche house of L, I'm sorry, of Arquiste is L. L from Arquiste. Love the bottle. I own this fragrance. One of my favorite presentations is just this brown, round bottle. And when you spray this, I don't want to spray myself in the eye. The perfect description of this for me is dirty barbershop fougere. This is sexy. This is sex in a bottle. Simple. It's got civet. 
Civet is a sexy, as you know, it's the, from the anal glands of the civet animal, which is a cat-like creature in Asia. It smells like S-H-I-T, like poop water on its own, but when you mix it in small elements with other, uh, with other fragrance components and notes, it mixes and produces an incredibly sexy, alluring, masculine, beast mode fragrance. All day on your skin, 10 plus hours, projection, and when a woman gets in close, it's like a magnet. It's like she doesn't know what she's smelling, this is the response I get. They've never smelled anything like it, and yet they have, because it's got the barbershop fougere element, which is familiar to people and to ladies, but then it's got that dirty side, just throws them for a loop. I'm telling you, you'll knock them out with this one. Try it. Number one, ready? Number one, I've talked about this a number of times already. This is Invasion, Invasion Barbar Bar from MDCI. MDCR par MDCI Parfums. Uh, this, how to describe this? This is probably generally considered the best barbershop fougere anywhere in the world. Obviously, I have this my number one. I love it. I love MDCI. I have Fet Person from, from this house, and it's it's one of my best fragrances. This to me took the old school barbershop fougere kind of like number 89 which i just mentioned and it just updated it uh it's got ginger it's got thyme so it's got this really unique element to it uh, it's got violet leaf just mixes it all together of course with that lavender producing this very masculine very modern although this came out over 20 years ago i gotta say it's still timeless classic modern this is one of those fragrances like the classic French fragrances from 50, 60 years ago that I predict will be around 50, 60 years from now. And Maurice will still be selling it here at Osme. I guarantee it 50, 60 years from now, right? When your, when your grandkids are running, his grandkids are running around in here. No, he's not dying. He's gonna do cryogenics or something. Okay. There you have it guys, my top 10 barbershop fougere. This list was special to me, again, because this is my favorite classification of fragrance. It, especially these fragrances because they take them to another level and make it unique. Thank you again for watching. This is Joel the Nose, of course, and if you haven't already subscribed, I'd ask you to please consider it. And uh, I will be back soon with another video coming to you live from Osme. Hope you're all having a good one. Peace.